I've already said it to that group, so I'm going to say it to you as well. Okay? You've got to be asking yourself the question, and I'm going to ask you, why are you here? So why are you here? Do you speak English? Yeah. Why are you here? Yeah. 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 And how are you going to go about doing that? Yeah. Do you think hard work might come into that? Good. Why are you here? Listen, anybody can listen to instructions. Anybody. So I could get any any guy off the street to come along, join in here, listen to instruction. No problem. Okay? What else are you gonna do? Yeah? Follow instructions. What else are you gonna do? Right. You're all here because of what? At this particular time. You all you've all been, been obviously picked out by coaches, why? You have the talent, yeah? Now, I'm going to tell you this. Talent alone, talent alone will not get you where you need to be or where you want to be. Hard work, desire, commitment. Those are the things that will get you where you need to be. Because you don't necessarily, because I'm telling you now, the best, the best players don't play in the Premier League. The best players don't technically play 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 in the Spanish league. It's the guys that are willing to work hard and the great a great attitude. Messi, do you think Messi's the player the player he is because he's got great talent? Talent alone Talent alone, as I said before, will not get you where you need to be. I, I, I coach back, back in England a, a guy called Lionel Morgan, black guy, fantastic player. Played under 17s, under 19s, um, reserve team for Wimbledon. Best player I, I've ever taught. Had, had the combination of Messi's skills, Rooney's ability, and um, Christian Ronaldo's pace. Great technically. Didn't make it. Why? Why? Give me some reasons. Attitude. Didn't, didn't, didn't want to work hard. I've got the ability, they give it to me. You lot are in that situation. Nothing what I've seen here at the moment suggests to me that you lot want to be here. So that's the question I'm asking you. Why are you here? Because as I said to them, some of you give the impression as if you're doing us a favour by being here. Show me what you got. Show the coaches what you got. Show the coaches the reasons why they've picked you. Now to do that, you have to work hard. The talent you've got. Unquestionably, you've got the talent. But it takes hard work. I spoke about Kenwin Jones. Kenwin Jones was at Sunderland. Good player. With a shadow of a doubt, good player. But for me, he should be playing for Manchester United. He should be playing for Arsenal. Reasons why he's not, too laid back. Too laid back. Because if he had the commitment that Rooney's got, or somebody like that, he would be playing for one of them big, them big teams. So ask yourself now, why are you here? And what I want to see now is a change of attitude in the next couple of minutes. And coach, yeah, I just want to add a few things. You know, no this problem. Is, and this is this is one of the problems that we 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 encounter as Caribbean coaches. You know, you know this way. I think our players, the exposure for our players to understand himself why they're here or why they're in a team to work hard. Our Caribbean players, we feel, don't work hard enough. On the game, and, I, and it's like you saying the Kenwin Jones. Although we feel in Trinidad, Kenwin Jones is one of the top players in Trinidad, and still there's the same feedback we get in. We having guys from the Caribbean who go into Europe on five and six trials and still don't make it because it's the same thing. They do labour, not willing to work hard. It's I know it might be new to you guys to just eat a lunch and come back out and train, but it happens. 
it happens and this is the environment that we have to be in to know that you come up the field, you're going four, four, sometimes four sessions a day in preparations in, 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 in pre-season and we have to get accustomed to that but we like to train once a day, you come next time and not prepare to train twice a day or three times a day and our players in that mental state so we have problems as coaching getting them to work getting them to work so that's why I always appreciate um, sessions like these yeah, yeah. so the voice you can hear a different voice because we need to work hard in our game we do this what you're doing now we do with our under 8s all the way up to under 18s yeah so they do this it's what they do every 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 session before every session starts this is what they do why do you think they would do a session like this there's loads of different reasons why why huh? yeah why? What do you do? What what are you doing during the session as you're doing it now? What what are the things that you're doing? Huh? Position? What else? Why? What are you doing with the ball as well? Passing. What, what else are you doing? Decision making. Touch. Supporting angles. Exactly. All the things that you now do in the bigger picture. And the problem that some of you lot have got is that because you think, well, in a game I'll do it naturally. Oh, in a game I'll do it naturally. It don't work that way. It does not work that way. Right, I'm going to bring, bring up the point there. Why do you think that African lads, African lads from the African continent, do well? They've got the same ability as you. Huh? They work hard. African players want it so badly, they work hard. The commitment is unbelievable. They'll train two and three times a day. So come on guys, back to it, let's go, come on.